Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health practitioner and expert. And in this video, I wanna share with you the five most critical tips that you need to help you reach the finish line of any health goal that you might be setting your sights on. Now, can you believe that we are finally starting a new year and left that dumpster fire of 2020 behind us? Thank God. The beginning of a new year holds a whole new meaning when it comes to setting goals after the year that we just had. What you set your sights on now can change in an instant as 2020 taught us. So how do you plan to stay on course despite what life might throw at you? To help you kick this year off right, I want to give you five critical tips to help you actually nail your health goals this year and for real this time. Because how many times have you maybe told yourself that this is this is going to be the year this is going to be the year that maybe you you know finally get your energy back or maybe that you finally feel good in your body again or maybe it's the year that you're going to ditch all the stress and make more time for self-care or possibly figure out what is really going on with your hormones, maybe reverse your autoimmune issues and manage them naturally, or maybe it's the year that you're going to finally get to the bottom of your bloating and digestive struggles and ultimately get back to feeling like yourself again, or maybe for the very first time. As most people do, you probably always start the new year with the best of intentions, but quickly find yourself getting lost in the chaos of everyday life or swept up by a pandemic. And before you know it, the whole year has practically passed you by and you still feel uncomfortable in your body, sick or tired all of the time. I feel ya. I have fallen into this vicious cycle myself in the past, but I made some major shifts along my journey to get my energy and my body back. Now, first, let me tell you that it's not your fault if you haven't reached your New Year's resolutions in the years past. There is no such thing as failure. There is only feedback. Feedback that you need a different plan of attack because there's more to achieving a goal than just simply setting one. Marathon runners don't just wake up one day and run a marathon. They train for it, they fuel their body for it, they buy the right clothing for it, they put energy and thought into exactly how they are going to make it to the finish line on race day. Like training for a marathon, in order to nail your health goals, you need the right plan, the right resources, and the right support. So that's why in this video, I wanna give you these five critical tips to help you actually nail your health goals this year and for reals this time, so that you can feel better in your body again and feel like yourself, like you've been wanting to for so long. Now. I have worked with hundreds of clients and no matter what the goal might be, I have found that these five tips are critical for reaching the finish line of any health goal that they have set. The first one is to focus on the why, not the what. Who wouldn't like to lose a little weight, to have more energy or control of their health naturally? Those are just surface goals. It's not what's on the outside that matters it's what's on the inside that will keep you motivated over time what would having more energy control of your health and weight actually do for you how would it change your life these are the questions that you need to ask yourself it would probably give you more confidence you would feel more comfortable in your own skin you would be able to focus better at work and as a result probably make more money you would be a better parent and partner you would be able to travel the world hike the tallest mountain or do anything that you physically want to do with a feeling of joy you essentially would be limitless 
when I trained for a marathon, there were definitely days that I didn't want to get out of bed and run a ridiculous amount of miles. And when I was in the depths of healing Hashimoto's and reversing mold illness, there were plenty of times when I wanted to throw in the towel, but reconnecting with my why is what keep me, kept me going and it what, it's what keeps my clients going too along their journeys as well. Now, tip number two is to clear the clutter and distractions. Distractions are everywhere and they can come in any form. Food, finances, physical clutter in your home, negative people who drain your energy, social media and the news, or people who maybe convince you to do things that aren't in your health's best interest. If you have to stare the cookies in the chocolate chip eye every single day in your pantry, eventually they are going to get the best of you. So give yourself time to set up your environment to support the pursuit of your goals. Maybe clear food out of the pantry in the fridge that isn't in alignment with how you want to be eating. Put together a budget or get your finances in order so you don't have to worry about them and you can then focus on yourself. Maybe take one day to organize that hall closet, garage, or other cluttered space in your home, and then set some healthy boundaries for those things or people in your life who may not be on the same path in you as you. Maybe instead of gossiping over cocktails, grab a coffee or take a walk and set a social media or news time consumption limit. Once the clutter is out of the way, you can move forward on a clear path. Now, tip number three is to build upon your existing rituals. We all brush our teeth in the morning, or at least I hope you do. So this is a ritual or a habit and something that we can build upon, right? Often what feels overwhelming about going after your health goals is the idea of having to create time or space to work out, eat healthy, meditate, drink more water, or whatever it might be. But what if you just built upon the time that you've already carved out for the rituals or habits that you already have in place? This has really helped me build a meditation practice. I started with just 10 to 15 minutes of meditation after our evening family dog walk as part of my nightly wind down routine. It eventually grew into 30 minutes and I yearned for it so much that I then eventually implemented it into my morning routine right before my workout. Oil pulling is another great example for me. I do it three mornings per week while I prepare supplements and my morning water, tackling two things at once. I'm all about efficiency. Another great example that my clients really enjoy is doing meditation in their car in the driveway when they get home from work before entering into their house where there's distractions or in the bathroom after taking a shower. These are great ways to disconnect from work and create maybe quiet spaces so that you can be more present for loved ones when you're with them. Assess your current rituals and how you can build upon them with the things that you would like to be doing for yourself to support your health goals in the coming year. Now, tip number four is to recruit the right support and resources. It's okay to ask for help and don't let your ego tell you otherwise. Instead of spinning your wheels about what foods to eat, what exercise to engage in, which meditation to try or supplements to take, or about anything else that might support your health goals, recruit the right experts and resources to be your guides along the way. As the old saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child, and it can also take a team of experts or resources to help you reach your health goals. Set yourself up for success by hiring the right experts to hold you accountable and give you the resources that you need in order to feel your best. Your health goals, dream team might include maybe a personal trainer, a health coach, a chiropractor, acupuncturist, spiritual guide, or other type of health professional as mine does. And remember that you are worth the investment. 
Now number five is to stop shooting in the dark. If you've tried everything when it comes to diet and exercise, yet nothing seems to work, then it's time to test instead of guess. You are unique and therefore your diet, exercise, sleep, supplements, and stress reduction needs to be too. What works for one person isn't exactly going to work for you. When your attempts to lose weight, increase your energy, and get your health back under control aren't working, it's a sign that something bigger is going on underneath the surface, such as maybe hormone imbalances, liver congestion, poor nutrient absorption, um, or fat for fuel metabolism, and your typical blood test won't pick up on these hidden dysfunctions usually. Your results will always be lacking no matter how many diets or workout routines you try if you've got something going on underneath the hood that needs to be checked. So stop shooting in the dark, run some functional lab tests that will give you a bigger picture of your overall health and take a more strategic and personalized approach to reaching your health goals this year. Now, I would love to know how I can support you more in achieving your health goals in 2021. I would love for you to take two minutes to complete a quick survey for me by January 14th, in which you'll also be entered to win three free health coaching sessions with me, which is a $750 value. As the Holistic Health Boss, my mission is to support busy health-minded people like you and getting access to the right lab tests and resources so that you can find the missing pieces of your health puzzle and get back to feeling like yourself again or for the very first time. So click on the link below to let me know how else I can help you. And here's to achieving your health goals this year, no matter what life throws at you. And PS, I would be thrilled to be on your team. I'm currently taking a limited number of clients and offering a 20% discount for the month of January on my coaching programs. So if you're ready to take back control of your health and feel like your best self, please reach out to me to schedule a complimentary ideal health and weight discovery session. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.